And uh, we wanted to talk to him about it all. And he's kind enough to join us. Let us say hello to the king himself, Bobby Green. Hey, Bobby, how are you, my man? Oh, what that shit do it? Oh, What's it's, going on with you, Earl? It's you nice to brother? see you, brother. It's nice to see you. Where are you right now? Hello. <laughs> Where is this? Uh, I'm in a... Uh... Are I'm you? in Vegas. I'm in, my, I'm in the lab in Vegas. Okay. Well, I appreciate... I'm headquarters and I, I, Much respect. I, I know it was a frustrating weekend for you, and the last time we saw you was at the press conference. How would you uh, say you're digesting everything that happened on Saturday? Because I can understand why you were mad. You said you wanted your money and all that stuff. How do you feel two days later? First of all, uh, I was already like finding out what the fuck happened because I thought it was a finish. And then all of a sudden I found out like, oh shit, they're not doing it. They were, they're calling it no contest. I'm like, all right, fuck it. It is what it is. But as I start going back to the back of the room, I realized, nigga, that's a hundred grand. I missed out on fuck that. You know, I'm starting to get hot now. Like fuck that. So I'm getting hot and hot. And then the UFC say, Hey, we want to interview. I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure? Cause I'm going to say some shit. Like I'm, I'm not in that mood right now. Fuck that. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to do it. And I was like, nah, nah, let's do it. I'm like, all right, fine. Fuck it. Let's go. I'm going to shoot that shit. And I told him right then. And so then I just went up there and lost my shit, brother. But now that I'm sitting back a little bit more and like looking at the whole situation, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot like I look at it a lot differently now, you know? Okay. What What's the difference between how you're looking at it now as opposed to two days ago? What's changed? Is I feel like we got in this time or this era, bro, where we're getting really pussified. You know what I'm saying? Like, like really where, like the rules are coming in more. You know, and and we got to understand that this is still a fucking fight, okay? And I know we need to have rules. There are rules, okay? But listen, I saw this shit happen like two weeks ago, or was it two weeks ago where Kurt, uh, Chris Curtis got the headbutt? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. April eighth. Yep. Yeah, yeah. He got headbutt. He went down. The fight was close up until that point. He got he went down. Fucking uh what's his name? What's the other dude's name? Uh Kevin Gaslam. Gaslam jumped on his ass. Big, 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 big. Take it off on him and shit. You know what I'm saying? Take it off on him. With no stop to say, hey, that was down for a low blow. They kept letting that shit run. And had he finished him, it would have been a finish. They didn't take no point. They didn't say, hey, let's go back to this and judges this and that. That was two weeks ago, bro. That was two weeks ago. Now, two weeks later, it's all let's go back to the, the, the camera. Uh, when we get so pussy fight. Do you think... When did we start becoming pussies? Like, this is a fucking fight. Listen, brother, I'm going to let you speak in a second. I'm sorry. No problem, no problem. No, do your thing, do your but, thing. But 98% of the scars on my face, I got look. Look at my shit. I got scars all over this shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Shit all over. This shit came from headbutts, bro. This shit came from headbutts. This ain't never. This ain't never been no situation where like, like, bro. I just fought through the shit. I just fought through it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get hit, bing, 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 bing. Uh, Jakar, bah, bust me. These niggas don't be touching me. But then I, I got hit in the head. I got now look like I'm bleeding. Like he been doing some work. Nah, he hit me with a headbutt, bro. And, and so this shit happens all the fucking time. Men the fuck up. The second thing I can see had he hit his head and. And and oh, he was fucked up and he was out. I'm like, bro, I even asked the ref, I asked uh, Keith Peterson, I asked him like, so what if he'd have put me in that triangle he was trying to put me in, and he finished me? Then it was in. Would y'all stop the fight and said, let's go back to the cameras? Hmm. Or what if he would hit me with an up kick when he was trying to hit me with an up kick and I started grabbing his legs, controlling him? I shoved him down. He was still bucking before I even hit him. That's when I hit his ass. It wasn't like he was like fucking out of it. No, I saw his eyes, bro. And then I chucked his shit by. Bow, and I saw him start leaving. That's when I started seeing him leave. Before that, he was well aware of what the fuck was going on. And I'm not trying to like shoot Gordon down or talk shit to, about Gordon or anything like that. But what I am saying is, the shit is what it is, bro. This is what it was a fucking fight, and shit happens. Especially when he was waving his fucking big ass head, he was over there just like <laughs> scared, you know, not trying to get hit. And so. It is what it is. Sometimes this shit fucking happens. Man, the fuck up, bro. Like, and, and it is what it is. Like, don't get all to the point where we like when Chris Kitt said he was gonna do that shit. Go, go, like, uh, try to take it back. I was like, bro, you gotta man the fuck up. It is what it is. 
some shit happens. And I can see if a motherfucker is doing some intentional bullshit. And that's the narrative that I want to change today. Is the narrative that some, some people have been putting out there is that, like, I'm a dirty fucking fighter. Hold the fuck up. Like, I, like I plan to headbutt a guy. I'm too fucking skilled, okay, to ever stoop that low. I fight with dignity, honor, integrity. You know what I'm saying? And so all my fights, I would never do no shit like that. I've had one other controversial fight in the UFC out of 20. So that's two of you would say so. Two where is some everything could ever possibly be anything because I kicked uh, James Krause, belt line, and he tried to say that I kicked his balls. This is the only other situation where I've had some any type of hitting situation. I fight with straight honor. I don't need to cheat. My skills speak for themselves. And if you don't got the skills, at the end of the day, it will show. I don't need to cheat. Fuck that. And so somebody would ever put my that dirt on my name. Like I saw somebody tag me some shit. I'd be like, what? What are you talking about? That so just so I can make sure we're clear, I was trying to throw a lead elbow on him. He kept fucking ducking his head and shit and doing all this weird shit. Like he called me a couple of times where I'm like, oh. I had to catch his rhythm. So I'm like, okay, now I figured you out. So now, whoop, I'm dumping that little left hook. He's throwing, uh, now I'm getting ping, ping, and now I got my shit. I started working him now, and it started getting to the point where it's going to go all bad, bro. It's going to go bad for him. And, and I just felt like he went down some bullshit, and, and you were still, hey, bro, it happens. We fucking fighting, and we did throw head, you dipped your head, and fucking we caught. I didn't bitch you and say, oh, my head, I felt him hit, we hit. I'm like, nigga, fuck, it is what it is. Like, I didn't mean to do the shit. I tried to hit him with a little, ugh, like that real quick, you know what I mean? But he dipped over in my shit, bam, and we both hit him shit head. Fuck, shit happens, bro. I didn't stop the, hey, stop the fight when I got fucking hit. I didn't hit 10, 15 times with a fucking headbutt. It's what the fuck this shit is. It's a fucking fight. What the fuck you expect? I'm, I'm complaining when niggas hit me behind the head. I've been dropped behind the head with a Poirier. Hit me behind the head when I got hit. But it's like, oh, it was behind the head. No, it's what it the fuck it was. I did down. He clipped my shit and caught me behind the head. It's what it is. You're down. And it's fighting. What the fuck you expect? Y'all getting too, like, oh, my God. Huh? <laughs> like, nah, nah, nah. This is a fucking fight. Don't forget this, guys. And if you ever try to peep me in those lane with those other guys, these matches and, and all that type of stuff, like, no, this is a fucking fight. We were scrapping. What do you think should have now, happened? I'm sorry. I see what you got to say. No, it's all good. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you're able to, you know, get it off your chest, whatever it is that you want to to say. What would you have liked to happen? Just you, you and Via Knockout, what you thought was going to happen? Because it seemed like that's what you thought that they were going to announce, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was still fighting me, brother. I could see. I, I wouldn't have dogged him if he wasn't still kicking, if he just went down. Like, uh, he was still like, okay, I'm like, oh, you still, you, all right, all right, let's go. You know what I mean? It wasn't like a situation where I see you're fucking out. You know what I mean? I wouldn't do, I wouldn't do you like that. Right. I wouldn't even have to just follow you up or nothing. You were out. Did it and mess you what up? It is, we'll go back to the judges. And, and by the way, I think you're, you're covering the camera with your finger on, the, on that side. Oh, yeah. my bad, my bad, my bad. No, all good. Uh, did it mess you up? Did you, did you feel dazed from the headbutt? Nah. Okay. Nah. I didn't feel I didn't feel like that. No, you just kept not going. At all. I, felt, I felt like it hit me somewhere up here, and mm-hmm. I felt this hit like oh shit. But it's just what it is. It's just, like I'm so used to not ever getting no type of stop, no type of what the fuck is the dust is the nut shot. Mm-hmm. It's what it is. Everything else besides the nut shot, bro, that shit going. Uh, it's a fucking fight. You you said in the post fight press conference, I want my money. Uh, have they? done right by you in your opinion like what happened afterwards are you getting your money because sometimes they do that no no they just said like i, I talked then i talked to dana and just told him like man i'm bad bro like i was trying to fucking hit him with a lead double i wasn't fucking trying to do no bullshit you know fucking kid went down so i smashed him and so dana was like Shh, all right it's all good kid you know but shit that ain't all that ain't all good i need my money you know what i'm saying i need my money i didn't get no i didn't get no my, my other back end and, and i don't bullshit my i come to I got goals and I got aspirations. I'm supposed to pay my house off. So that's where I, I set my goal to be. I did everything right to get to this point, you know, and, and I hate when we have setbacks like this. Trust me, I would never do no shit or, or ever set like my my uh my potential of winning at all. I would never jeopardize that. Um so you have the show win model. Don't you think you know, like for a veteran like you, Bobby, and really for everyone, I think that this model needs to be abolished. No one's going in there. Like, you're a pro athlete. All of you guys are a pro athlete and, and the women as well. 
this show win thing is ridiculous. Like, how can anyone justify that you or Jared or anyone who competed on Saturday deserves 50% less just because they didn't win the fight? Or in this case, some some bad luck happened, right? Don't you think it's crazy? Don't you think we need to move past this? Um, I was talking with the homie the other day about that shit. And, and uh, we brought up two different interesting points. It sound good. It sound good. But I was like, bro, but I think the UFC is afraid of this. When niggas want to get just paid, and they just get paid, it, 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 they ain't fighting for the win. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I'm fighting for that extra 50 racks you know, on top of my shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm fighting for that. You know what I mean? People thought it was a cocky thing because I showed fucking some money on camera and shit. It's not a cocky flex or anything like that. This is saying, this is what I fight for, bro, for this point. While y'all fight for stupid wins and matches, I'm going to try to collect these. That's what I was saying. It was no cockiness or nothing. Like When somebody was trying to say that, I'm like acting like I'm the the new money man or anything like that. No, no, no. This is what like, niggas in my hood look like. Well, with this shit on and this is what we wear, this is what we do. You know what I mean? And this is what it is. I'm not like trying to flex or nothing. It's just me being me. But yeah, back to what you were saying. Yeah. No, I just think that they won't fight with that uh, with the same uh, aggression as what the UFC is saying. And I feel like kind of like that too. Some niggas won't. You know what I mean? Some niggas won't. I feel like we've evolved to the point where you guys are pro athletes and you all want to win. Uh, regarding the money, I saw it at the uh, press conference. Can we put that somewhere safe? I mean, I'm getting a little worried with you walking around with it. I mean, can we can we put it in a bank account uh, or a piggy bank? Why do you have to walk around with that? I feel like that's like a big got money in the bank account. But why do you need to, why account, do you need to but... walk around with the big stack like that? I feel like you're just inviting you know some hatred coming your way. No. Hey, hey, I know what I know what that shit come with. Okay, I know what time it is, and when I'm walk around like this, when I got this in my neck, I guess more than this, this work more than way than that. So when I'm doing that, you know what I mean? I know what, the, what come with this shit, okay? Uh-huh. You, you got to know what come with this shit, nigga. It, hey, it's, it, it's up, it's up. That's what it is. I, 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 it's what time it is, bro. That's all I can tell you. All you right. just got to be ready for this shit, you know what I mean? A lot of jewelry lately. I feel like since the last time we saw you, it's even more, right? I mean, how we got a lot. The, the <laughs> right? Am I wrong? Or it's a lot. I mean, I saw you. On, you looked fantastic, by the way, on Wednesday. The Kevin, suit was great. I love the suit. Kevin, Kevin Holland tried to say he had more jewelry than me. He tried to flex with me. I'm like, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. I had to let him know, stop playing with me. Like, nigga, you not that nigga, nigga. I'm that nigga. I've been that nigga. You just got here. I've been doing this shit for three years on top of years on top of years, nigga. You know what I mean? Stop playing with me. I got old money. <laughs> How much we got on so, right now? Like what? what, what what's I got the... money in the bank accounts, but but listen, bro, I'm a, I'm like a paranoid motherfucker, okay? Yeah. And and so I believe, like I don't know, like one day, like you said, well, come with this shit. I'm gonna have to shoot a nigga and have to might have no, to run no. to Mexico with this shit. You know what I <laughs> mean? <laughs> shit, you know what I mean? I just think like a I'm a paranoid motherfucker. I think like uh, like the bank's account right now. I heard the banks were having came claiming bankruptcy and shit. Like I'm like, man, give me some of my money back, just just in case. You know what I mean? Shit. I How much know, are we wearing? Paranoid, what's what's, what's the, the combined worth of what we're wearing right now? What I'm wearing, bro? Eh, you wouldn't even believe the prices. I you know, know I, mean? I would. Oh, Trust me, I would. I see it. So it so much ice the there, price. I could skate on it. I feel like. Man, you wouldn't believe it, bro. That's what I'm saying. I'm like telling get to leave my little my little bracelet cost more than just your whole neck, bro. Uh, my little one. That's what I'm trying to tell him. Stop playing with me. Man, all right. I I just wanted to know. It's great. King. And by the way, speaking of King, I see that on your uh your knuckles there. Is is the name change mm-hmm. official? Where are we at with that? Yeah, it's gonna be official uh on the 30th of April. Of next month. Of May. So so it, your your official name, your legal name will be Bobby King? No, 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 no. Oh. Just King. Just King? No Bobby Green? No Bobby, yeah, no Green? Course. I'm no last King. No way. Nothing. Just King. Was that hard to do? Yeah, man. It was a process, bro. Because I was actually going to do this a few years ago. Like, I'm in my, I feel like I'm in my third generation. You know what I mean? Like, I was talking to Nate. I'm like, Nate, like, a lot of these niggas, where all these niggas be at, bro? They're gone. I'm in my third generation. You know what I mean? Like, when I tell him, talking to to about damn i got 20 chains i bought a chain when i first came in i got this chain that chain i'm in my third season y'all just got here for the first season you know what i mean i think i got seasons of this shit stop playing with me <laughs> but 
back to what you were saying. So, uh, what was the question? I oh, the forgot. question was the name. So you said you're going to change it to just oh, yeah, King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How so, difficult yeah. was that? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so I was going to change this shit like uh, I was going to change this shit last year. No, no, two years ago. Okay. And uh, but I was fighting so many cases, child support cases with my baby mamas. Oh. And so, like, when shit goes sideways, I didn't fucked around with some somebody I shouldn't be. They want to put me on child support. They mad at me. You know what I mean? Doing me sideways and i take care of my kids first of all but they just want to be mad and spiteful one of my girls right here right now she she'll go she'll tell you just being spiteful they're being spiteful and then they <laughs> put me on child support and so it is what it is i take care of my kids though bro and so i couldn't change my name i paid like 500 bucks and then uh something happened they told me like no you got a child support case and they're keeping my money I was like, fuck, what the fuck? Then I came back a second time to do it this time. And since it's all cleared up, I guess, they didn't take my money this time. And, and I actually went through. Okay, so so it will just be, how? I mean, that's crazy. Your name is just going to be King. So like uh, your ID is just going to say King, nothing else? It won't say King Green, nothing like that? Like just that? Sorry, just King. Is there anyone on the planet with the name just King? Or will you be one of one? You tell me. You I tell me any other black guy you see with a tattoo on his head. Man, I'm just trying to be me, bro. I'm just trying to be me. What does you it know? say, the tattoo? It's a dragon. Oh, the one up top here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. It, it's, I feel like I'm the last dragon, you know what I mean? Look at Ariel. Tell me who got a close to 50 fights still doing it. Right. Jorge just left at 52. Yeah. Jorge just left at 52. I'm just keep seeing a fall every fucking week out here. I see another retired. Ray Borg just retired. You know yeah. what I mean? We had last week we had two motherfuckers do it at the same time. <laughs> they just keep going. I'm like, who's doing this this consistent, brother? Who's still still in the game three, four fights a year consistently at 50 fights? Come on now. No, it's true. You bring up a great point. Do you feel do you feel anxious? Like do you feel like the time is coming? Do you, when you see like your peers? Who you came up with retired? You feel like everybody, everybody. Yeah. Now, like, look, look the only person I was competing with now was, was Jorge and Nate. Yeah, Jorge gone. Nate, like, he doing one a year right, right now. You know what I mean? He's talking about coming back. He's gonna come back and do his thing. But by he comes out, he come back and be, hey, what's up, big dog? I'm up there with you. I'm up there with you. By the way, one last thing on the name is: is there a reason why you want to change your name? I mean, you've been Bobby Green your whole life. Why do you want to drop that? Yeah. yeah. Um. I just really wanted to show people something different, you know. I'm I'm different for one, two. Um, it's like a for me, it, it's like a my life is a journey, bro. I used to sleep on couches. I've been in 50 different homes. I have a mom. I didn't have a dad. You know what I mean? I was in a foster care system. I grew up with white people, black people, Mexican people. Uh, one of my families, the mom, dad don't even speak English. I get left with them. I had to learn some Spanish, bro. You know, habla poquito. You feel me? <laughs> I had to learn some Spanish, and so. What I'm trying to tell people is like, you can do anything, you know what I mean? And, and like, I'm speaking to the young kid that's in me, that's, that's out there somewhere, who, who wants to be an MMA fighter, who did, who wants to do this road. This shit was, this is, you could be a king, bro. I was on couches, I was nothing, bro. I had nobody, you know what I mean? Like, uh, the person that raised me, my grandma died, I lost it, you know what I mean? That was it. And so I had wrestling. And, and I end up going from nothing to a king. And not the king, okay? The king is like, oh, you're cocky, you're arrogant. I'm mm. not trying to be cocky or arrogant, you know? They're just trying to tell somebody that you could be royalty, you know, one day. Like, I used to watch the stupid movies. Like, what movie is that shit called? A Knight's Tale? And they yeah. just you like, you could change your stars, you know what I mean? You, you can go from being, he was one of the peasants in the crowd. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm going to be that guy. But he couldn't be because he wasn't royalty. You could change your stars and you could be royalty. Did you, you know, uh, treat people... They treat people like like kings and queens, you know, with, with respect and honor, you know, and dignity and integrity. And so that's what my whole shit is about, like the, from being a peasant to a king. I love it. Uh, did you rewatch the fight? Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought it was interesting. Paul Felder is clearly friends with Jared Gordon. Had, Come on, say that shit, bro. What do you mean? Go on, say that shit, bro. No, I thought, I thought, and, and there was actually one point Man. where I think he was talking to a producer because it seemed like someone was telling him to calm down. I, exactly, I, say I, it. I don't, say I, it. I don't think friends should be calling each other's fights if if it's going to bring about say that emotion. I, di I didn't love that, and I have exactly. a, a lot of respect he for was Paul. Real.
bro. He not home. Real scary, bro. It was a aggr- hey, it was aggressive. It was too passionate. When we see Chili, he know what time it is too. When he when we see Chili, he know what time it is too. Uh, we gonna have some words when I see him. You know what I mean? I'm gonna wait till we see each other face to face. Did you when not we like see it? Each other, we gonna he know what time it is too. It's just like, bro, stop with all that uh, emotional bullshit. He was over there. Come on. <laughs> I'm like, bro, come on now, bro. Like. Do your fucking job. And then I got heard him say that. Tell him to calm down. They yeah. Tell the nigga calm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because he was getting too emotional. Hey, do your fucking job. And secondly, that's what I'm saying. I felt like he was, you know what I mean? Because he was his homie. He see live with this dude and shit. Like, bro, don't dick, right? Keep that shit straight up. Um, do you, like, ultimately, if the UFC says to you, hey, you know, what do you want to do here? Do you want to run it back or do you want to, do you want to move on? If it was up to you, what would your call be? Um, oh, now I can't see you. Again. I, would run, I would run it back just because I, I feel like I feel like people be uh, um, they think that Jerry was getting something going there, bro. He and I landed like two good shots in there, you know. That I felt like okay, and I just had to get his timing down. Once I got his timing and I got his rhythm because he's very weird and awkward, mm. he's an awkward, fighter, you know. And, and with awkward guys, they're not the standard type. You can't really find guys who are awkward like that sometimes, you know? And so you just got to develop to him. And it took the time to develop. I got his whole game plan now. Even if he tried anything new, there's nothing he could do that I'll be surprised by. He can't wrestle more than me. I should have just took him down and fucking choked him out. But no, I just, I'm going to beat you up. He is not that good. But if he wants to run that back, that's to leave that option up to him, okay? I don't give a fuck, yes or no. If he wants to run it back, if he runs his mouth and thinks he had any chance in that fight, I'll run it back on him. That's the only way I'll run it back is if he says some shit like, I felt like I was going to win. I'll punk that nigga, bro. I'll punk him, okay? I was punking him in a cage. He was running around that bitch acting scary, and that's the only thing, reason why I wouldn't fight him. That's why I, tell him, I suggest he shut up, is that no disrespect. I'm not trying to disrespect him, but don't say nothing like that, nigga, bro. You was running scared. You know what time it was. And like, that's the only issue I wouldn't fight him. It's a Bro, I'm trying to get fighter the nights. I'm trying to fuck with people that's really doing this shit, bro. Come here. I fucking fuck with Dover. Dover was still in that fucking fight trying. Even though I was beating the shit out of him, he was still trying. He was still, and then it worked out for him. You know what I'm saying? So I can respect a nigga like that. But nah, Poirier was still in there getting it. He was still going. I respect guys like that more. You know what I mean? Like, I don't waste my time is what I'm saying. Like, with the, with those guys, you know what I mean? Like, if you don't fight scary, bro, don't waste my time. I don't want to fight no scary guys like that. You know what I'm saying? Where, where, nigga, we came to fight. And then, like, I get it. And I'm not saying, like, don't run because you can move. You can move, move, you know? I know scary when I see scary, okay? I didn't do this shit too motherfucking long. I know scary when I see scary. How much, how much longer do you want to do this for? How much longer do I want to do this for? So I get known as the realest. So I get known as the realest. I feel like y'all keep like overlooking me and keep like because a nigga old, a nigga, a nigga that took a couple L's. But listen, I'm that nigga, bro. I'm, I tell you, I'm like I'm Kevin, like he, I, Lee. I jump in all these situations and all these places. For I just jumped to the hoop to my company. Okay, I love my company, nigga. They took me from having no money to having some money, and they got fuck with them. And so for that reason, I'm gonna be, always be a loyal UFC guy. I always do good business with them. We have great me, Sean. Then we great. You know, we don't have no issues. I don't never bitch about nothing. I don't bitch about nothing. That's what I'm saying. I, but I've been jumping through hoops. Like, if we take, like, my last little contract with these guys, I, I signed this little fourth fight deal. I had to start off with Islam. I just had to jump in the hoop through that. I just fought 10 days before that. Yep. Then I got to jump through hoops. I was, I was already on four win streak then. Then now I fucked my shit up. You know, all right, cool. Now I got to go over here with Islam. All right. Throw myself in that bullshit. I wasn't even into that fucking fight. Then I get hand surgery. A month fucking later, I'm fighting fucking Dober. I literally got cleared the week before the fight. I don't know how this hand gonna hold up. I'm jumping through hoops business. I'm just, I'm crazy. I'm a psycho motherfucker, okay? Like, I really did that shit to show my homie some shit. Like, on some G shit. Like, really, I just told him, like, hey. Because, like, I'm one of my homies is Alex uh, uh, Reyes. He's in, he's a 55er. But check this out. Alex never got a go, uh, an opportunity. He took a fight on three days' notice. He had to fight Mike Perry. Mm. He fought Mike Perry on three days' notice. He's a 55 rounds to go up and fight a 170 guy. Fucking, he gets knocked out, you know? He never got a real shot. And so, 
from there, he's going to get his actual shot now. He uh, has got some bad, uh, had a bad back injury. He got some, uh, what is it fucking called? Uh, the the stem cells. He got the bad, some bad stem cells. Put in his back, inject in his back. Fucking eats all his back away. Has all this oh. fucking crazy surgery. Fucking has to fight for uh, teaching, coaching, and can't do fucking fighting for years. It's been years. So it's like, I think five years almost now. You know, I don't know. I don't know what years, but so me and Alex were sitting down. I go, Alex, you should do this fight. They've been calling me about Dover. I told him I'm fucked up, but I'm like, Alex, you should do it. Call him and tell him you do it. He's like, bro, but I don't know if I'm ready for it. You know, it's, it's 28 days before the fight. Like, that's not enough time. He's like, bro, I don't know if my back, my back still hurts a little bit. I'm like, Alex, my hand fucked up, bro. You told me, right? My hand fucked up, right? Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't fight. Yeah, yeah. Watch what I'm going to go do. I'm going to do it just because you said, because you said it, you weren't going to do it. I'm going to show you. Watch what I do with that opportunity. Because we can't be scared, Alex. We can't be scared. We got to jump on these opportunities, you know? And so I just did it anyway just to show him. Mm. And that's what it all came from. But it was on 28 days notice. I'm fucking fucked up. <laughs> I'm not going to do this shit. I still did it. I'm a G. Well, why'd you say? So you when I get known as the real, I feel you. I feel you. Well, why, why'd you say you weren't into the Islam fight? That was a big spot. Gosh, gosh. don't don't make me do it. Don't make me do it, bro. What? Do you what? Make me do it? Do what? I'm not in it for the, those guys. Are boring. They boring. They, they they trying to change the whole, the whole the whole swag, the whole era. Like we're now for like. Since Islam and, and, and Norgan Madoff came, it changed where, like, their matches now, bro. Mm. Their matches. Don't get me wrong. I'm not no disrespect to Khabib, okay? Because Khabib is, is dope. I'm not trying to take nothing from the kid, okay? But at the same time, like, a lot of that shit to me is boring. Like, when he, do, when he does some certain shit, like how he did Michael Johnson with the Yusha Tap, and bing, he got him, bing, I'm hitting I'm like, that's the shit. I'm not saying that not knocking wrestlers saying don't hug or don't do any of that. No, do your swag, but nigga, watch you see me take a nigga down. I'm, bing, I'm, I'm gonna do something. You know what I mean? I'm not doing no no shit. I'm just wasting time. Or else I just like uh, I threw uh what's their face his name is. I just threw him on the floor. I could have ran, jumped on top of wrestling, I just threw him on the floor and let him get up. Like, get up, bitch. You know? Mm. I'm just like, fuck it, you know, like, but that's my swag. I'm the only saying it's their swag. It's kind of boring, bro. I came to see a fight. I'm I don't know if I'm old school or what, but to me, if I jumped on YouTube and I typed in fights, if I came to want to see some fights, the ultimate fighting, that's what I type in. I don't know why, but I, I, I imagine it kind of being like shit I was seeing in my back. You're all the shit in my streets where niggas like, what's up? What's up? Bing, 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 bing. What's up? Bing. And bing, nigga, nigga, fucking bing. Bing, nigga. You know what I mean? Like a fight. That's what I came to see. I didn't come to see that. And so I don't know what y'all doing for the public, but if I was one of the niggas in the crowds, that's what I came to see. And I don't want to come see no shit that ain't like that. Uh, y'all niggas want to hug and shit, I'll go home, bro. Uh, I'll turn off the TV. You know what I mean? When I'm on my shows, bro, I watch everybody fight just so they know on the court. I watch them. I'll be in the back, y'all. I'm like, man, uh -huh. that was another snort fest. We getting closer and closer to 50 Gs. Watch this shit. Oh, he hugging all night. This one. We got this one again, Sam. Hey, Sam. Sam, we got this one again, Sam. You know, I'm going to get it again. That's what I was doing in the back. But then, uh, hey, a couple of my niggas did it. Like, Christos did his thing. I'm happy for Christos. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. So, just to answer your question, you know what I mean? That was really the answer to your question is that they, they style boring, bro. All right. I feel that. Shit, I didn't want to come and see that. And who want to see that? Like, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. The, the Volkanovski fight was only exciting because of Volk. Yeah. Because of Volk. And, and certain guys can do that. But certain guys, I'm like, man... That shit, like, I don't even want to take my time with that shit sometimes. So it isn't getting myself into that. When I'm like, like, his coach said he's going to stand. And then all of a sudden, they changed his mind last minute. No, just wrestle him. Like, no, that's exactly what you could. That's the only thing you could have did to me was wrestle. And and be honest, I didn't have time to work my wrestling. I can wrestle with his bitch ass. Like, I can do wrestling, bro. These niggas don't be taking me down. They don't be doing shit. Like, every time, look at any of my wrestling clinches with any of these niggas, I beat them. Bro, except for this guy. Why? Just because it's bullshit. You know what I mean? Hmm. I didn't get no time to get to work. But, bro, I could fucking Islam up with wrestling. You could do that wrestling shit. I guarantee you I kept my, kept my camp together. It wouldn't be taking me down like that. But 
it has to get what you see, and you're like, oh, he's Islam's son. Gotta be saying that she whipped his ass. I'm like, bro, are you fucking serious? I'm just a G that I did this shit for you niggas. Just a G to just go out there and see if he was gonna be a bitch or not and really scrap. I want to see if he was gonna be a real scrapper or what's up. He didn't throw not one punch. Bro, I went out that motherfucker after he was over to like, he was over to like, and hit me like a little bitch. Like, I'm rolling the shit. I'm trying to, I'm stuck in, in uh, his uh, uh, mount. So I'm trying to push down and, and push the half guard, but I'm blocking at the same time and I'm trying to scoot my hips. And the ref stopped so fucking fast. I'm like, bro, I ain't got a scratch on my face. I ain't even feel like I've been in a fucking fight. Uh, what, what the fuck was that? Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? I it's hear like, you. That ain't no fucking fight, bro. It has evolved. Keep going. I'm sorry. I know I'm ranting. No, shit. it's all good. It's all good. Um, I ain't been high and fucking forever, so this is my fucking first blunt. Hey. I'm ranting the fuck off. Go ahead. Enjoy, my man. No, uh, I, I will. I will leave it at that. We have to move along to our next guest. But it was great to talk oh, to you for the last thirty. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good. Uh, I'm, I'm glad we're friends again, hey, Bobby. Hey, when are you gonna leave me on the show? So I can get you high. When are, when are you gonna be on the show? You're on the show, right? I think I just got a second uh, no, contact no, here from this. So smoke a blunt, my nigga. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Anytime, man. Anytime you're in New York. I was saying, I think I got a contact high just from you. Uh, you know, from from. Yeah, that you know, right the, here. That's for me. You're saving it for me. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, we gonna smoke together on, on your Friday. So right before we close the show, so you so you don't see nothing stupid on air. All right. We gonna smoke right towards the end of that the show. Be, uh, that would be tremendous. Uh, you're the man. Yeah. That, yeah uh, that. Should I call you King? Should I call you? But I don't know what should, should, King. You're the man. King, bro. It's All King right. from here on out. You know what I mean? If you respect me, you can call me King. If you don't, then call nah. me what the fuck you want, but it is what it is. Until next time, King. Thank you. I'm sorry this happened. Hopefully they rectify it and they give you your money, and we'll see you back in there soon. All right, bro. All right, there he is. Uh, King. That's it. He joined us. Nothing more to say. Uh, very passionate man. Uh, a lot to get off his chest. A lot to say. And... Uh, that was entertaining stuff. 